Hey, welcome back to Soda Time Restoration. Mark Cohen here. Uh, great evening to you. We're going to try to get back on the Vendo 81. Like I said, we're going to do several series. Uh, each, each one will be alive on this 81. Uh, especially since the 81 that you're watching in the video series right now, uh, somebody uh, hit the wrong button and deleted all the teardown footage. And that somebody is me. So if you're ever recording something and you think it's going to the cloud, if you delete it from your phone, it deletes it from the cloud. So uh, learned a hard lesson there. Probably lost uh, a good five hours worth of footage we lost there. But uh, we're going to get it back tonight. A uh, couple things we're going to do. Uh, we're going to take the back off of this show you how to find out if you got a good switch for the light and if the light works. Uh, this particular machine is just a machine we're going to clean up. Uh, the other night we cleaned out, and I don't know if you uh, saw me doing this, but if you want to back up and catch another video, but we did, we did the clean out on this cabinet, cleaned the shelves up, got the compressor out, we sent it off, Got it going to uh, my compressor guy, Gary, Gary Olson. I, I tell you one thing, I have to say one thing. It takes a village to put one of these machines together. I, today I probably talked to several people across the United States. Uh, Gary Olson obviously uh, does a lot of my compressor work uh, that I send to him. And uh, today, uh, first time, the me and Pat Pixley, uh, Pat is a, another guy, probably done it as long as I have, uh, wonderful restore. Uh, all his work is great. Used to live up in Michigan, now he's, uh, I think, in Chattanooga. Uh, Pat, if, that, if that's wrong, correct me. But uh, uh, and then uh, my other good contact is, everybody calls him Slider Bob. He does a lot with sliders. Uh, his name's uh, Bob Carlson, just about lost his last name. Uh, Bob, uh, I've just uh, done a lot of work with him here recently, so when you get in a machine like this Bendo 39, had a broken door on it. Uh, believe it or not, pretty tough to find. They're out there, but uh, man, all the Bendo 39s I've got and, and parts, uh, I couldn't find one, but uh, tonight we're going to get started on this, and uh, we're going to flip this thing over first and I'm going to start taking the back off so bear with me I'm going to grab a few tools and get this thing turned around I may do it well now we'll leave, we'll leave this one down it'll work better that way I should have locked the coin door on this right quick let me get let me get this coin door locked up right quick and then we'll uh, we'll flip this around So it's nice to have a set of keys. This one's a 501. Probably the key I don't have is a 501. Oh, there's 501. See if that works. Keep the door from look, maybe not. I think this thing had a coin coin door that was messing with it. Well we 
may put it up there without it. We're going to give it a shot here. The door might hang open, but I want to at least be able to demonstrate this. We're going to set it on there slightly lengthways. There we go. Get that coin door sitting just right. That's kind of where I want. So we're going to try to save the liner tonight. Not an easy task. They're always brittle. Super, super brittle. But you know what? This one is still fairly soft, but it is very hard. But we're going to try to uh, get the, get the back door off of it tonight. See how that's looking in the camera. We're going to tip it down just a little bit. So be very careful when you're pulling this back. You're going to see, and I'm going to show you on camera here what I'm talking about. We're going to try to save this as much as possible, but this is where we're at. Uh, and this is why I always say, hey, we'll try to save it. But on a full restoration, I would say, mm -mm, we're replacing this. So, And I may end up saying this yet tonight. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how it goes. careful but we may be uh, changing bits again here let me try another bit yeah there we go it's just some of them are going to be stubborn If you go look at a Vendo, Vendo 39, all metal backs, man, you never have one of those giving you issues. They may rust out at the bottom, but your 81s, all plastic backs, they will give you some issues. Yeah, we may be fighting those. I like saving these screws because they got those nice washers. Obviously, you can buy a screw with a and add a washer to it.
course you got that gooey stuff that comes out of there. Probably should have put my gloves on. I'm gonna gonna say why didn't I put my gloves on? But it looks like the bulk of these, almost in every spot, the housing is broke. And I may be calling the customer on this one. It is. It would be a crying shame to put this back on there. Then you got screws that are all ripped up. So we'll see. We'll call the customer tomorrow. The liner. I may be using a pair of vice grips on those. Part of the live television. <laughs> You'll see me in the Cutting this thing off and throwing this liner in the trash here probably pretty soon. I really didn't think it was that bad when I first looked at it. take out and I see the broken pieces uh, it's going to get a new liner on it it wouldn't pay to put a gasket back on there that's why I tell people like don't even waste your time trying to save it but when I first looked at this thing it looked pretty decent Man, I did not look good enough. That is for sure. We're going to see if we can get a vice grip on that because I want to, I want to try to pull this out to get these other ones out of there. So, that piece there is probably going to get broke out anyway. And of course the worst part is always down here at the bottom. This has got to be some of the worst spot. You can't, I can't even break it loose this so hard. Take your pair of pliers, get a hold of that thing. <laughs> it's on there. Alright, we're going into demo mode now. I can tell you that right now. These are not coming out nicely. So if you got a Vendo 81, I've never sold, tried to save one of these, don't even know why I thought I was going to. Save a couple of components. This button is pretty good. Sometimes you don't get that with your new one. This piece here is not does not come with it. Keep those. Hang on to your screws if you want to, if you want to put new ones in, I get it. We're going to save this piece right here. It's got two little rivets in there. I 
I would do new rivets when you put it back on. You will have those entry holes on there. They'll be there. Yeah, the thing I kind of hate, and that's why I wanted to save this on this machine, was trying to save some of this decaling. But believe it or not, I think, I'll have to check, it's either Funtronic or Soda Jerk Works, I think has that actually dated on there. Uh, I could be wrong, but ninth month of 56, I think that's one of my last ones I got was that way. So let's see what happens. Because once you get this gasket pulled out of there, you can get a hold of these screws a lot easier. So we're going to do a little cutting. So if you can get this started, start pulling these out. Don't waste time trying to save it because it's it's not going to be savable. Let me scoot this over just a little bit. There we go. You can see that every hole has a broken, broken piece in there. If I brought my knife with me here, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Well, I thought I was going to be giving you a video of how to save a lighter, but <laughs> it ain't happening tonight. <laughs> It is not going to happen. Once the liner gets out of the way, we can get a hold of these screws a lot easier. Because most of those pair of vice grips, the only way they're going to come out of there. And these bottom ones, oh man, I did not know those that rusty. See how low we're shooting. Get a little bit lower here so you can see this. This lower one's going to be the the one that that you're going to. It is a tough one. If you can get the rolled back at least, get your gasket rolled all the way back. I usually try to cut that angle out of there get your gas don't know if I'm still live or not I don't know
Looks like I still have one. Got somebody online still, so I'm going to keep going. There's 104 out today, so I turned my air, my shop air on a little bit late, so my phone's telling me it's too hot. Uh, yeah. But uh, the show must go on. We'll see how long my phone lasts. All right, so here's the next step is getting uh, this plastic, since it's done, go ahead and get it past all the screws. I'm going to once again bring this over. There's where I found out my camera went offline. So looking down, as you see, you can put a new gasket on there, but you're going to be putting a screw in. Like right there, and a gasket's not even going to be touching anything. So this liner, it, it's coming off. It may be in pieces when we get done here. We'll see. I hate it. I wanted to save it as much as I could, but it's, it's, it's done. Once you get to that point, you know that you're done. Take the liner off. <laughs> get it over with because <laughs> there's nothing to say here except pieces one thing I would probably do make sure somebody has a liner before you start tearing this off uh, I have checked that. Liners are available right now, but I'd hate for somebody to rip rip a liner off of a other than a Vendo 81, and then find out they can't even get it. So don't be tearing stuff up until you really know you can get the parts. Here's where I should have my gloves on. You know, insulation doesn't look too bad. I'm really surprised. So I was telling you about the date code is in the patent notice, and, and I haven't looked, just studied them really heavily, but pretty cool ninth month of 56. That's, uh, I always like leaving a lot of that stuff on there. Uh, I love the Americana piece of what this machine did in its years. The people let it serve. It'd be an incredible story to hear to hear some of that. But I'm a history guy. I hated history in school, but man, I don't know what I was thinking. I can really get into history now. So, let's see what I was talking about. If this comes off any easier with the uh, pair of eye strips on these. Well, obviously you can turn it. Turn it now. You couldn't do that before. And I may not spend a lot of time on that because I want to get to where the issues are with these machines and where you can uh, save yourself a lot of pain and agony down the road. If you get one and your light is not working, this would be a suggestion what to look for. As you can see, the wiring is usually snipped off. If you see you got wiring that looks like this, all broke up, and it's bare, you know, coming through the rubber grommet. Uh, it's time to, to get that liner back off. Obviously, you got to take the liner off. You're going to be going through this insulation right here, coming up through here, 
and we're gonna be tying in some new wire here. So we're gonna move a little bit of this insulation out, so bear with me here. Kind of show you what, what's, what all's involved in when you're doing this light. I hated that on the other Bendo 81 because uh, we ended up, actually you're getting ready to see that sec segment of it. Uh, I had to wire in a new ballast in that one. It would not work at all. And I would say, if you're going to take this out, don't save this old insulation. Just get rid of it, put new in. It's not that expensive. This will expose the wiring really good. get a little bit of that out of that corner there. I've literally had to scoop some of this stuff out. It was so rotten. Once that gets wet over 20, 30 years, it's not probably going to work very good. So get all that out of there that you can. Try not to save any of it. Here's where that wire comes up through. Let's see if I can get it exposed here good enough. All right, save a little time. Let's let's go. Let's look at this wiring. You got a ballast here that has. You got two wires coming in. These two right here, and probably what we're going to repair. You'll see an extra wire coming up to the top here. That is for a heater element. I take that thing out. There's, there's no need to have that in there. It's great if you're sticking this machine outside. Uh, but I'd say most of these restored machines are probably, they're either sitting in a nice garage or somebody's house. So, but uh, we're gonna fire this, uh, this uh, connector up and see if this particular switch is still working. So let me, uh, get my connector and we'll see if we can get a little bit of juice to it here and we'll see if we can get this light working get down where you can see it Somebody asked me what uh, insulation I go back with. I'm going back with regular R13, uh, which is uh, probably I, I, it's stuff you put in you know, the walls of your house. I take the lining off of it and do it bare.
and I see people try to just put a new wire on at the bottom and usually the bottom is the issue but uh, this wire here has been protected all its life the wire below the cabinet has it Okay, see if I got my test lead hooked up. Looks as good. So you push the buttons up here. Uh, well, this all looks pretty good. Let's uh, let's try her out. Ha! Huh, look at there. You get the camera around here. You may not be able to see that. So you got a push button on the side here. Uh, this is on the inside of the cabinet. If you don't know where yours is at but you'll have a little snap to it and look at there that's the original lens too that's usually uh i think that last 81 i was cleaning it and broke it right in the middle but uh that gives you a little bit of an idea what we will wire in new wire up up to this connection point everything else looks good But, uh, hey, I think we actually did a little more than I thought we would tonight. I had no idea I was going to be tearing the liner out of there that way, but I don't know if I gave anybody a screenshot of what we did. We got, uh, this is what, actually in our series right now, it's not been released yet, but the 56, uh, is out of the paint stage, uh, We'll start buffing on those probably this weekend. And, uh, man, it'll be nice to uh, put some stuff back together. So if you're watching the series right now, uh, the 80, there's an 81 on there that uh, we're going through. It has it come out very, very nice. So to continue with the 81... We will, I'll get a new liner. I'll probably do uh, maybe a little bit of the wiring uh, connections and stuff. Not a whole lot to that. But uh, then our next step will be uh, obviously putting the compressor back in, which that has been sent off. And probably cleaning this cabinet up. We've got a little bit of holes in the bottom of this cabinet. And I'll show you what I do. I mean, I'm going to try to... Uh, there's only one one hole here in this corner where the compressor uh, sets, and I want to get that fixed before we go back together and probably clean the cabinet up a little bit. But, uh, hey, it's coming along pretty good for a cleanup project. But uh, if you're liking the, the live series, let me know. Uh, I don't know how it's... it's, uh, it's kind of 50-50 deal uh, when I'm going to do it, but hit the subscribe button. Uh, we're approaching the 500 uh, count, which has been pretty awesome. And uh, But yeah, stay connected with us and give me a thumbs up. But if you're liking the series, hey, let me know. And uh, if you're just the first time uh, person on here, put it in the comments and uh, go back and check some of our stuff. But uh, we got some great stuff coming up. I got some good ones we're going to be doing uh, probably more towards the end of the, uh, the summer, which is almost there now. But uh, hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.